Hello, sweet, sexy spirits. It's your creatrix, Chalice. And I know I'm probably doing a big filming no-no when I'm wearing a shirt that kind of blends in with the background, but guess what? I don't care because I'm here today to talk with you a little bit about the difference between feminization and sissification. So if you're not already familiar with these two, you might be asking, what is it? Well, they both involve a man being feminized. Feminization is usually by choice. And the most erotic part of this is a man feeling feminine. And it can be used for self-exploration and empowerment and growth. And just because it feels sexy. Now, sissification, or what's also known as forced feminization, is often forced. And the turn-on is in the humiliation, the degradation, the emasculation, and the lack of control. So we can simply look at it as feminization by choice and forced feminization. So feminization can be erotic and empowering to some people and humiliating and degrading to others. In feminization, the man, who's usually a sub, is taught to walk, talk, dress, and carry himself like a lady. The first element is usually in cross-dressing, and that can include dresses and heels, and panties and stockings and wigs, and bras and bra inserts and purses and all of that good stuff. Different textures play a big part in this too, and maybe a big turn on to some people. Some love the feel of nylon, others like to feel sensual in silk, or delicate in fine lace. All of these textures and fabrics have a woman feeling feminine, of course. They're going to have a man feeling feminine too. Then other details are tended to like nail polish and makeup. You're going to tweeze your eyebrows and curl your eyelashes and wear lipstick and other details like using the right shower products, smelling like a girl when you get out of the shower, shaving and waxing your face, your armpits, your legs. The feminized male might need to sit down when he pees, cross his legs when he sits, walk like a woman, talk like a woman. Yes, that means learning how to walk in heels. And a lot of feminized men will choose to take on another name, whether that's a feminized version of his own name or a completely new one. He's gonna wanna be called by a woman's name. A lot of femmes and sissies fantasize about orgasm control and chastity, a lot of these men like to give up control of their manhood to their dom if they have one. Some men wish they didn't have a cock at all. I know that's hard to believe for some of you, but it's true. So playing um, with a feminization fantasy or a sissification fantasy is getting a lot of these men closer to their bigger fantasy, which is total transformation. Feminization and sissification also has another strong crossover with the cuckold fantasy. A lot of these men wish to see their women being satisfied with a real alpha male. So a lot of these men, these subs, fantasize about getting to serve their woman or their dom's alpha male. Some choose to be trained as sissy maids so that they can enjoy serving their woman or their dom and her partner if she has one. It's not uncommon for males who are into feminization and sissification to question their sexuality and to even think about transforming and beginning to take hormones. Um, that's a big part of the fantasy a lot of the times is men, even if they're not taking hormones, fantasizing about if they were. One final note I'd like to add before I wrap up this video is I would like to clarify that although we call sissification forced feminization, it's consensual. It's just played out as though it's forced because that's an element that some people find erotic and exciting. Are you a sissy or do you enjoy playing with feminization? Let us know down below in the comments what your favorite part about that is. 
and like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and come on over to patreon join me i will post a link to that below in the description and i will see you on the next video